in Spanish. And the reason why we, we call La Finca del Sur is because uh, predominantly in the South Bronx, there's a lot of African Americans, Africans, uh, and a lot of Latinos in this particular neighborhood. And we just kind of felt like the South or the Southern region of most areas is where all the flavor and the soul kind of comes from. So we just wanted to give it a little sort of name that kind of represented that. I think it was also the first, first woman-led urban farm in the South Bronx. Um, we just definitely wanted this to be a very empowering and safe space for women, uh, particularly, you know, in a neighborhood such as this. And so um, that's pretty much what, what this farm sort of entails. Uh, my name is Regina, I'm one of the founding members of this farm. Um, we've been on this space maybe about three years now. It used to be vacant lot and uh, our, our non-for-profit along with six other Bronx-based non-for-profits uh, petitioned the city to pretty much to kind of take over the land and lease it and use it as an urban farm. So that's pretty much what we did. Um, we've been growing on it ever since and you know we've been on the news, we've been in the newspaper, so it's been a really great experience. Uh, but more importantly we definitely want this farm to uh, not just be a place where people learn how to grow food, but also act as an agent for change in this particular community that has very high um, childhood obesity rate, diabetes, uh, asthma, even though it's really not connected to growing food, but it's still a lot of very uh, health elements. I'm sorry, there's like sun in my eyes a little bit here. So uh, we kind of want this space to also be a very transformative space for people that live in this particular neighborhood. So, um, so what we're going to do today, more or less, uh, is there's going to, I know there's some weeding that needs to be done, I'm trying to look around. We've also had some wood chips that were delivered. I just have to find where the pal is and we can do some mulching. I'm going to go into that, uh, our container and pull some gloves out for everybody. And I don't know if anyone has any questions or, uh, we can do a little tour as well if you guys want. I was going to say, like, most of the students, like, what is the urban farm? Why is it different than? Another thing also that we offer is that um, we do a farmer's market every 